Dear youth, parents, leaders, from the English, French, Dutch speaking, and Creole speaking areas in the Caribbean. Brothers and sisters, receive our affection from the area presidency and myself, our love for each one of you. Today, I want to talk to you about the power of transformation that comes through missionary work, missionary service, and how you can change your life in a profound and a meaningful way. As a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I have witnessed that profound service in my own life as I serve as a missionary and help and fulfill a change of young people around me and even myself. That experience allowed me to grow, learn, and become a better disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this time in which we become instrument in the hands of the Lord, bringing His love and His truth to those who have not yet have heard of the message of the gospel, I had the great opportunity to serve in the Florida Tampa Mission in the United States. The Lord has admonished, if you fulfill your part, I will fulfill my part. I remember when I received my mission call, it said that I was to preach the gospel in the English language. And when I went to my mission in Tampa, I had the opportunity to teach the gospel in Spanish. But I remember President Albright, my mission president, made me a promise and he said, Elder Alvarado, if you help me work with this Hispanic, you will see many miracles, but there will be a greater miracle in your life, which I have promised and I will promise that that will happen in your life. You will learn English and you will use that language in your calling, in your work, in everything you do in your life for the rest of your life. I bear my witness that that promise was fulfilled. The promise of my mission president was fulfilled in every part of my life. If we put the Lord first, he has the responsibility or in the scriptures said the obligation of being able to fulfill what he has promised to us. The Lord encourages us with his words, just as he did with Joshua, when he told him, be strong and have a good courage. For into these people you shall divide for an inheritance the land. He invites you to make an effort and to you to be par so that you can prosper, so you can grow. During those two years, or 18 months for the sisters, in those two years, I learned valuable lessons about love, compassion, and the importance of talking about the gospel message to all nations, tribe, tongues, and people. I remember working with people from different nationality. Missionary service is not only an opportunity to share our faith with others, but also a time for a personal and spiritual growth as we give ourselves completely to serving the Lord. We will meet the challenges and sacrifices, but we also experience a manageable love and joy. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you to view missionary service as an opportunity to grow, to learn, to love, and to impact other people's life. Whether you are serving a full-time mission or participating in missionary service in your own communities, remember that the Lord will be with you every step of the way. He will strengthen you, guide you, and bless you. Missionary service will not only change the life of those you serve, 
but more than anything, it will change your own life for the better. The Lord makes generous promises. I am a witness of that. And he certified, he promises that he will not vary from these promises. If you prepare to serve a full-time mission, whatever the Lord sent you, the Lord will change your life, guaranteed. Missionary work is an identifying feature of the disciple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The prophet Joseph Smith taught, after all that has been said, the greatest and most important duty is to preach the gospel. As with missionaries past and present, the Lord knows you and has a missionary experience prepared for you. He knows who you are, who your companions will be, and you will learn from them. He knows the areas that you will be in, the members you will meet, the people that you will teach as you promised before you came to earth, and the life that you will impact for eternity. To your dedicated service and willingness sacrifice, your mission will become holy grounds for you. You will witness the miracle of conversion as the Spirit works in you to touch the heart of those people you will teach. Missionary service will certainly change your life. Fathers and mothers of these wonderful young people, you have a fundamental role to play in the process of preparing your children. The preparation is focused first on Jesus Christ, then the ordinances of the priesthood, then the temple, and then they will be prepared for the mission. We need to put the Savior Jesus Christ in the center of their preparation. What they would like to get from them and our responsibility for each one of those young men and young women is for them to become lifelong disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that family is the most profound influence in helping our young men and women to prepare for missionary service. Missionary service is not only one thing in their life. The mission is throughout all their lives as disciples of Jesus Christ. In the Book of Mormon, Nephi teaches that as we will desire to know God's will, He will strengthen us. He wrote, and I quote, and it came to pass that I, Nephi, being young, nevertheless being large in stature, and also having great desires to know of the mysteries of God, wherefore I did cry unto the Lord, and behold, he did visit me, and did soften my heart that I did believe all the words which has been spoken by my father. Well, for I did not rebel against him like into my brethren. Brothers and sisters, just be aware of this. This relationship was between Nephi and the Lord. If we point them to the Lord, if we focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, things will go on. I testify to you that Jesus Christ lives and you are going to represent him. It will be just as if President Nelson or one of the 50 men we sustain as prophet, seers and revelators were there by your side along with you to preach the gospel. I bear my witness of the same words that Elder Dita Christofferson used one time, he said. He's in general conference, and he looked back. Missionaries were singing during that conference, and he said, Elders, sisters, we're with you.
I testify that you are representing each one of the apostles as you go out to preach the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. If you put him first in your life, he will add everything to you. So he has been with me. I bear you my witness that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. I really met my Savior in my youth. But my determination to follow Him for the rest of my life happened during my mission. As I prepare myself to be still with my eternal companion for time and all eternity, that's when the best years of my life began. But the foundation for all this best year of my life is started on my mission. Again, I testify to you that Jesus is the Christ. Our Heavenly Father is calling us to His work to help others get into the covenant path and return to Him. I witness that Joseph Smith is the prophet of the restoration and our living prophet is Rosalind Nelson. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.